It's been 30 years since a jury awarded a woman $3 million when she was severely burned by McDonald's hot coffee. Now Dunkin' Donuts is facing a lawsuit after this woman ended up on a stretcher when she was scalded by the coffee at the Dunkin's drive through Jim Murray reports. She's in agony with burns over 30% of her body. Her legs are all burned off, like their skin coming completely off her legs from the degree of the burns. Her husband is at her side in the police body cam footage. He tells the cop what's to blame for his wife's injuries. It was scalding coffee. He went to hand her the coffee and dumped in her lap. It happened at a Dunkin' Donuts drive through when she ordered three black coffees to go. An employee came outside to hand a tray holding the coffees through the window of her car. Before I could even get the cup carrier from his hands, it just was falling forward. The shock was unbelievable. Samantha Picklow told us her pants absorbed the spilled coffee and were making the burns worse. So she ripped them off. Then she called 911. She spilled the coffee all over me. Oh, I'm so hungry. Ah. So what happened? Cops in Delran, New Jersey, head inside to question the man who served the coffee. He claims Samantha was eating something, grabbed the coffee with one hand, and spilled the coffee herself. She moved her coffee to the other seat and suddenly on coffee. Late. Did the coffee spill when you handed her? Uh, no, no, no. So how hot is the coffee served at Dunkin'? We tested a few. One reached 169 degrees. Samantha has filed a lawsuit. She and her lawyer, Paul D'Amato, want Dunkin' Donuts to change their trays from this to this. If this had been used, Samantha would not have been horribly burned. Oh, I didn't Dunkin' Donuts told us they don't comment on pending legal matters.